This is Artifacts Mars. Get the kids out of the room. Oh, I am hopping mad, all right. Uh, I'm getting about tired of the media and the government lying to us about these shooting incidents. And I got a special treat for you, if you want to call it that, near the end of this video, because it could be that one of the uh, mass shootings that we're all familiar with was actually inspired by Islamic terrorism. We'll get to that. Here we go. Chattanooga shooting. This is ABC News. Four Marines killed that make that uh, one Navy guy died. So there's five dead. Witnesses said they heard dozens of shots of suspected gunmen identified as 24-year-old Mohammed Yusuf Abdulaziz, these whatever. Open fire in two military installations. Here's a picture of the dirt bag. The motive for the shooting is still under investigation, but officials were questioning whether he was inspired by ISIS or other terrorist groups. I have a response for that. That is bullshit. Alright, that's bullshit. I'm getting tired of these motherfuckers lying. Uh, this is Islamic terrorism. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Don't give me this stupidity! This anything but! They know full well. They're lying, 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 lying. They've known right from the start that this was Islamic terrorism by the religion of pieces. Liars, liars, pants on fire. Liars, liars, pants on fires. I ain't getting tired of it. Let's take a look at NBC. The killer attacker had at least three guns and the best security access for ammunition. At least two guns, long guns, rifles or shotguns, and a handgun. They refused to call him an Islamic terrorist. Reynolds said the FBI had not formally classified the shooting as terrorism was investigating it as terrorism until the facts prove otherwise. Horseshit! Horseshit! <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm yelling myself. I'm yelling myself hoarse. That is incredible bullshit. They're lying right through their teeth. This is beyond belief that they can lie like this and get away with it. We know it's Islamic terrorism. Let's look at the guy's name. And he goes and shoots a bunch of Marines. This is Islamic terrorism, but they refuse to say it. These assholes in the press and our government are going to try to deflect us away from saying Islamic terrorism. They'll do anything they can. Because look what we have in the White House. The Tennessean. A picture... Within hours, a picture began to emerge of the shooting suspect, 24-year-old Kuwaiti-born electrical engineer and graduate. The government was also killed. Then say Islamic terrorists, which is what he was. This is Islamic terrorism. This country is under attack. 
I've told you before, o Obama is not going to protect you. When these motherfuckers get going, you are not going to be protected. I've been trying to get people, you're going to have to get out and buy guns. Buy guns. Buy guns. Buy guns. If you don't have any. Buy guns, people. Buy guns. We'll take another look. Take a look at another one. Those of you who are, uh, who've been looking at this will, uh, already have figured out what I'm talking about. When I say there's something else. Chattanooga Shooters Straddle Worlds. This is USA Today. The shooting suspect in deadly Chattanooga Rampage was talented mixed martial arts fighter of Arab descent who embraced American ideals. I can't believe they said that. Here we go again. That is incredible bullshit. Alright, uh, no, he was an Islamic terrorist. I don't know whether he's ISIS or who the hell he is, was. Federal law enforcement officials saw it appear the shooter acted alone, and I'm satisfied with that. The investigators are still looking for any possible associates that may have helped inspire the incident or helped them acquire the weapon. So the officials were not authorized to comment publicly. That is incredible bullshit. These people are just flat out lying constantly. Why do you think we don't trust the government's word on something like uh, Sandy Hook, for instance? The da. Here we have a clear cut case of Islamic terrorism by one of the followers of the religion of pieces, and we can't get a straight story out of these motherfuckers. There's, I hope a lot of Americans understand that this was an Islamic terrorist. Now, I told you that you're in a special treat, if you can call it that. I don't know what I really want to call it a treat, but, uh... You want to see something really shocking? You remember that, uh, Aurora... Uh, shooting James Holmes? Well, here's where the bullshit gets even deeper. Let's take a look. Dark Knight Killer James Holmes is not a Muslim and prays five times a day. You were told that this was, you know, just a wacko who uh, went berserk. He went berserk and shot up that theater. Here we go again. That is bullshit. James Holmes, the gunman behind the Dark Might, Might t Massacre in Colorado last July, has reportedly turned Muslim and praised five times a day. Uh, excuse me, he's been a Muslim all along. More than likely. I can't prove it, but that's my opinion. The killer showed off a lengthy, thick beard during court appearance earlier this month, and a prison source... This claim that it's a symbol of his newfound faith. Newfound faith, my ass. That is bullshit. Alright, uh... This is... 
an Islamic terrorist. You've been lied to all along, you, you and I have. And more than likely, he was as, an Islamic terrorist all along. I can't prove it. Uh, but the fact that he's turned to Islam, and he's using uh, the religion of pieces to justify what he did, that makes it Islamic terrorism, whether he intended to do it or not. Whether he intended it as such or not at the time. This is Islamic terrorism. There's no excuse for our being lied to like this. I'm, I am fucking sick of it, alright? I wonder how many of these other mass shooters are actually Islamic terrorists. But they won't tell us that. The press is just as guilty as the government for not coming out and saying what needs to be said. These are Islamic terrorists. You do kind of have to look at the source on this. Uh, they're quoting the National Enquirer, so we kind of have to con consider the source, but, uh, this is Islamic terrorism, people. If you think, I'm going to bring up a new page. If you think that this is anything but Islamic terrorism, you're nuts. Our son suffered from depression. Family of Chattanooga gunmen offer deepest condolences to victims, families, and say the person who committed this crime was not the son we knew or loved. Oh, brother. That is incredible bullshit. I'm getting all tired of this. You gotta stand up and call these fuckers liars. The government is lying about this. What? Not Islamic terrorism? That is bullshit. Do you need to see anything else? Not the son they knew. <laughs> liars, 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 liars everywhere. Can't we get any fucking truth out of these motherfuckers? And you wonder why we question Sandy Hook and question these other things that one down... Uh, South Carolina, I don't know, I'm not bothering with that one, but, gee, fucking whiz, this is Islamic terrorism. Chattanooga shooting being treated as act of terrorism, well... But they refuse to say Islamic terrorism. This country is under attack. I'm going to wrap this up. This country is under attack. These people are lying, lying, lying. Lying, lying, lying. James Holmes... You know, they're claiming that James Holmes is uh, converting to Islam. He was probably Islamic all along, which means we've been lied to. I hate those. Daily Mail first ran with 
the story that Holmes converted to Islam and jail is now as dedicated Muslim praise time, five times a day. The newspaper received the tip from prison source to know that Holmes was beard in his most recent court appearance as evidence of his conversion. He has brainwashed himself in believing that he was on his own personal jihad and his victims were infidels. Source said of Holmes, he now vides by Muslim diet and studies Quran supposedly. In other words, the Aurora shooting was an act of terrorism. I said terrorism, an act of Islamic terrorism. Anybody who tells you anything different, as far as I'm concerned, can go fuck themselves. I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of these motherfuckers lying openly when they know that these shootings are Islamic terrorist shootings. So there you go. James Holmes shooting, that was Islamic terrorism as well. And all, almost certainly. And that maggot will be kept alive and given appeals. He's going to be breathing the same air that you and I do for years and years to come. I'm so sick of this. Get off your... Drop your cocks and grab your socks. And go out and buy guns. You're going to need them. Your government's not going to protect you. Not when they're lying like this. Lie, 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 lie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. 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 We can't trust the press. We can't trust the government. I don't know what's what. I'm our facts of Mars.